Traders here working the phone say a lot of their customers are freaked out waiting to see how low the Dow will... The heightened financial turmoil that we have experienced of late may well lengthen the period of weak economic performance and further increase the risk to growth. To the loss suffered in that crash in 1987. This market took five years to go higher. It's now down 40 percent. This market is as volatile as you'll ever see. Traders say this is the craziest day they have ever the seen in these markets. The, the, we're in the well, last the days of this country's survival. Ten percent could be like the most serious recession in decades. Red everywhere, essentially down by four or five percent. We're down. I spent 35 years in the city, and I can tell you I have never trusted central banks, the Bank of England, the Fed, or the ECB. Don't take it personally, but I don't trust you one inch. I don't think we've ever seen this much innovation happening simultaneously uh, across so many sectors with the potential for mass disruption and really revolutionary change uh, on multiple levels, whether we're looking at identity, whether we're looking at access to financial instruments for the unbanked or solar energy or car sharing or advertising technology, like literally anything you can think of just about, there's an application where blockchain can have a revolutionary impact. But what's unique about it through the tokenization of these things through cryptocurrencies is that now just about anyone can have access to invest in these things and to participate uh, in these new forms within the new economy. In the world of the internet, the virtual world, there's a currency that doesn't belong to any nation called Bitcoin. And like all currencies, it can be exchanged into other more conventional currencies like dollars or pounds. Bitcoin and things like it is the equivalent of the red pill. Currency that's really going to work eventually? Well, I think it is working. Nobody knows. The stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in circles. You know what Fugazi is? Fugazi. Oh, it's a uh, fake. Hey, Fugazi, Fugazi. It's a wazi, it's a woozy, it's a f fairy dust. Cryptocurrency Bitcoin has had a roller coaster ride over the last week, hitting a record $20,000 per coin at the weekend. Here we fucking go. Look at Here the we green candle. Go. Look at the green candle. Well, oh my god. Holy <laughs> oh, shit, geez. 1069 and falling. I promise you, one million dollars is the lowest it can possibly be. The reason we're talking about countries which are broke, and they are broke, is because they're ridiculous, ineffective, ignorant politicians consistently spend more money than they can raise. And then they borrow, and they borrow, and worse, they then print money because politicians and their central banks have a machine which prints money. You do that as a private citizen and it's a criminal offence. You would go to prison for doing that and politicians and their central banks do it all the time. And, uh, you know, Bitcoin has all of the characteristics of a bubble. In fact, it's not just Bitcoin. It's the entire cryptocurrency uh, space. I think it's a massive speculative bubble. And Bitcoin, an online revolution in global money or a bubble about to be popped. What is the inherent value of a Bitcoin? What, is, what can you do with a Bitcoin? <laughs> We'll